hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching full tech so today we came with the new custom rom project called as the everest os officially this project only supports nothing phone one and some other devices its list is given under the video description it's a form of highly customizable pixel experience custom rom whose development has been stopped out from few months before flashing up this rom for nothing phone one is simple you just need to flash the boot vendor underscore boot then reboot your device to the Everest recovery and do the ADB side loading of the Everest OS custom ROM zip file. Next format the data and reboot your device. You will get the actual flashing video tutorial under the video description. Other devices user, please join the telegram group of the Everest OS given under the video description for support and a detailed flashing process for their devices. So today we flashed at this first ever build on the Nothing Phone 1 and we are going to test all the working things available in the ROM along with the Nothing exclusive glyph and the camera. We also discussed some new amazing features like depth wallpaper, lost screen widgets, new fonts which I found fully working in this ROM. Finally at the end I shown some bugs that you must watch so watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. Our device booted to the new Everest OS, it has some amazing default wallpapers with the Everest launcher. Let's jump to the about device section to check this ROM source base. ROM setting looks impressive with the impressive day and night codes, search bar and the about device card below it which has ascent of the home screen wallpaper. In the device detail, we gauge the home screen wallpaper view on the top with the Everest OS logo. Below it, we gauge the device specs. In the about phone, again we get the home screen wallpaper theme at the top of the setting. So ROM is based on the Android 14 with its easter egg. Airest OS version is 1.2 official build for the nothing phone 1. Device maintainer is the Thruesh. Security patch of this build is 5th of 2024. Kernel version is 5.4.274 and the build date of this ROM is of 31st May 2024. Project is under development, so no new builds are available, but the new build will be released soon with the new source codes. Other devices, please check their telegram group for the latest build of their device. As this is the initial build, please check all the things I shown in the video that are fully working, like Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS. Hey Google Voice activation for the both the off-screen and the on-screen mode are working. All the sensors like accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscopes are working well. Except with some other important things like fingerprint, vibration, fast charging, mic, ear proximity, display with multi-touch are working good. All the VLT and FIO NR incoming and outgoing calls are working. The most important requirement to use the banking and the security application is the safety net bypass is passing here. So you can able to enjoy all the banking and security application here. Along with this device play protect is certified. Now let's check out the nothing phone one related exclusive features are working or not. Who gets the glyph torch tile in a QS panel to use the glyph as a torch. Under the glyph setting brightness control slider for glyph is available. All the incoming and the notification glyph animations are working. For notification glyphs who gets the essential notification feature. Charging notification is working, volume level indicator for glyph is also available and working fine. Reverse wireless charging glyph animation is available and working. Flip to glyph and the music visualizers are working, so in other words glyph is fully working in this form. Next thing is Nothing Camera, so ROM comes with the older version of Nothing Camera that is 12.0. We didn't get the swipe down menu available for this camera, it's only available for the latest version of Nothing Camera. Except this, photos with the 50 megapixel feature, ultra wide angle camera modes and HDR are working fine. All the additional features like time lapse, panorama mode, macro mode, expert modes are working. For video shooting, HDR with the 180p30. FPS is available, but no 4K 60FPS is still available for any of custom ROM till the date. There are some bugs 
are related to the camera that we will discuss at the end of this video. Now let's check out some interesting features of this ROM. ROM has the new Everest launcher which has all the advanced features like recent panel who gets the opacity control of background wallpaper in the recent panel customization. One new extra quick action that is pin app in a memory is added by the developers here. Similarly check to clear all application is a very useful feature added by the developers and it's working. Except that under the miscellaneous setting who gets new easy accessible taskbar, hidden and protected applications, post action control toggle etc. Now let's check out some additional features of the ROM available under the highly customizable option that is the Everest Best Camp. You will find this setting under the main setting of the phone. First we will check out some unique and advanced features only. Under the theme room we we'll get the different volume panel styles. We also get some amazing fonts with their actual preview here and they are all looking nice. Under the quick setting panel customizations we we'll get the quiz panel transparency slider which gives the glass like effect to the quest panel. We can change the quest panel tile shapes to the rounded and square one. Similarly, we get the brightness percentage toggle for the brightness slider, which adds the brightness slider percentage in the quest panel setting. Double tap to check phone and sleep both are working. Now comes the most unique part of the customization. We get the bunch of the different lock screen clocks here to customize your lock screen. Except that we get the lock screen widgets, this one I didn't found in any of the custom ROM available for the Nothing Phone 1. Here we get the device info widget toggle, along with this we can add multiple widgets like 2 big and 4 mini widgets. And how this looks on the lock screen. We can actually toggle on some widgets like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, sound engine, etc. Device info has owner name and the battery percentage along with the volume, ringer level and the RAM available. Under display fingerprint icons and the animations are back in the ROM and they are looking very nice on the lock screen. Next we get the iOS style depth wallpaper effect which is actually working in this ROM as mentioned. For this we need to enable the depth wallpaper toggle, then select the depth wallpaper subject picture. We we'll get some slider to control the depth wallpaper opacity, depth wallpaper horizontal and vertical offset. And this is how it looks on the display. When you double tap on the always on display, we can check the depth wallpaper below the actual lock screen wallpaper. While unlocking the device, it creates the amazing display effect. Except this, we we'll get the sound engine to tune your device audio under the system setting of the phone. Here we we'll get the three different presets like music, game, theater and smart. Mission setting has lots of different as well as features, one of them is unlocking higher FPS on supported games like BGMI or PUBG. As this one is the official build, we get the OT updater under the system setting. So we almost discussed everything, now let's discuss some bugs that I've seen. The major bug is only about the camera, if you take the portrait shots with the main and the selfie camera, no picture will be saved in the gallery of the device, we can't able to access them anywhere. Similarly for the slow motion video recording, same issue is there, even though the slow motion video recording gets successfully recorded, but that shooting will not be available in the photos application. Except that I seen some glitches in the user interface and sudden random lag while scrolling or using the application. Device gets heavily lag and can't able to use for few minutes. This one is a serious bug, hope developer will solve the all mentioned issues soon. In one word, ROM is amazing, it has fully working amazing features like new lock screen widgets, depth wallpaper, which are not working in any of the ROM for all my devices. So definitely, once we get the next build with the major bug fixes, this will be the top contender in the ROM ranking list. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for nothing phone one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.